Good day, folks. It's Greg G in Green Pastures Farm. Moving the cows in the evening. <laughs> they, my gosh, are they fired up. Even the older cows, everything's running. It's, it's rained all day. Tails are up in the air. My gosh. You got a stampede coming through this gate. And then when they come through the gate, of course, there they go down there. <laughs> Look at those are older cows and they're acting like little calves. They got the tail sticking up in the air. <laughs> How you like to see the cows feeling good? You know everything's healthy and happy. Slick hair coats. Winter's coming. And you got happy, healthy, fat cows. They're still running clear at the back of that paddock. They're going to see how far they can go. And uh, we'll be leaving this farm in the morning. But uh, we had them on here uh, three days. And there was about uh, 45 acres. And uh, there's about 313 head, I think, left here. 314, something like that. Well, here comes another volley of them. <laughs> Cows are uh, really looking good coming into winter. Um, you know, we're, we're approaching October now, so we, we, could we, we could have a killing frost October 10th. But once you get that first killing frost, your uh, winter stockpile growth is severely impacted. And, uh, you know, you just, you're just not going to grow that much more grass. You might grow a little bit, but, boy, right now we, we got a nice rain today. Um... I think it was right at three quarters of an inch. Uh, we didn't get as much as they said we were going to get, but I'm very thankful for what we did get. And uh, so we, you could say we have uh, about 20 to 25 more days possibly to stockpile some grass here. And if it stays cooler at night and, then, and get out of those 90 degree temperatures in the daytime, we're going to grow some grass. So we're looking forward to that. And uh, these cows are uh, doing well. I think there's um, more fat cows this fall than I've ever seen. And part of that is we've had some good rains, and they've just got a ton of feed. Folks, th this has been rested um, about 60 days, okay? And uh, there's, there's quite a bit of stuff in here. There's a lot of forage. But what's crazy is, uh, well, I'll just step over the fence right here. This is what they were on this morning. So we left this. This is this won't get grazed again until uh, well, probably toward the end of November. So it's going to be cold and in the, you might say the dormant season. But look at that, folks! The cows just came through here and took the tips off. And heck, there's some plants here that didn't even take the tips off. Okay, they just laid it over. But man. There is a ton of feed out. And when you walk through this paddock after being grazed, you got to lift your feet up. If you don't lift your feet up, you're going to fall on your face. And you might fall on your face in one of those things right there. <laughs> That's been rained on. That's why it looks so uh, washy. It's been raining here all day, and uh, it's a well-needed rain, to say the least. But, uh, yeah... Leave as much as you can, folks, in the fall, and it'll grow back a lot faster. And your your uh, your winter your winter hay bill, you're not going to have as much winter hay to feed because your cows can graze all winter long, possibly if you're stocked correctly. And you can go out and calculate on your paddocks after the winter the first killing frost, and you can calculate how much feed you have on your farm for the whole winter. And by doing that, you know exactly how many cow days you have. And by knowing how many cow days you have, that tells you how much hay you might need. Or if you don't want to feed any hay, just calculate how many cow days of grass you've got. If you've got too many cows, you need to sell some. If you don't want to feed any hay, you may be overstocked going into the winter. So it doesn't do any good to carry a ton of cattle through the winter if you got to feed hay all winter. Because it just costs a lot of money to do that, and you don't want to do that. So... I'm going to cover that in another video, how we calculate um, the winter grazing that you have out in front of you. 
And you can do that because we're not grazing what's in front of us. So we know exactly how much feed we have out here. Okay? All right, folks, this is Greg Judy signing off. Everyone have a good day.